few of y'all know, but I'm going to tell the stream now. And eventually I will make a much larger announcement when this time comes for me to embrace that part of myself. But if you don't know, I had a very small stint of wanting to run for mayor. The reason why I did not go through with that was for a multitude of reasons. But the top two were, I felt like I didn't have enough pull in my city for people to know about me and then all of a sudden recognize me as the person who should be in charge of said city. I thought that was unfair. I think that I'm prepared for the job. I think that that would be a great step up for me as far as my life's ambitions and goals. But I said, there's a lot that needs to go on and there's no way I'm going to be able to pull this off in six months. I don't want to be out there saying I've been at the rallies. I've been speaking on this and that I've made the change in the community for the youth. That's the part I've stuck on. That's the part that I live for. That's that. But the second reason was because Andrew Yang decided to open his mouth and say, I'm running for, I'm running for mayor. The juice he has as being one of the guys who ran for president and got such a big, a lot of that support came out of New York City. Therefore, it makes no sense to try to compete with two established, three established, four established candidates, and then this random fifth guy. Because if you don't know, we have ranked choice voting. So I wasn't expecting to be anybody's third to second choice. I might have been a lot of people's fifth. I could have been a lot. But that's not winning the race unless all other four get knocked out. Now we have the problem of you can't criticize people if they're not white. I'm sorry. That's just what we have right now. I don't know where that's coming from because that's a weird assumption to make. But, like, I understand there's been a lot of Asian American uh, hate crimes. There's been a lot of black hate. Like, they're, they're, like, minorities are not in a great place in America right now. But Andrew Yang has opened his mouth and said the dumbest shit at times. Like... We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna park that. For... Oh Jesus! Uh, okay, we have to do it like this. Andrew Yang made offensive, pandering remarks focused on parades and gay bars to a prominent LGBTQ group he is seeking an endorsement from. Members said, adding that he failed to address substantive, 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 I don't know, substantial, yeah, it should be substantial, issues they were concerned with, including homelessness. I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I follow this guy, but I hate when he says stuff. Please get another personality trait. New York Times with the Asian hate. His remarks were not offensive and sensitive tone death. People watched it. Um, there were better comments the day before, but uh, Eugene got into the fucking minds of a lot of people, so fuck. Um, in other words, this man really ran his mouth. Mods? 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 Okay, no mods. See you later. Uh, thanks, for the, thanks for the spam comment there. Anyway, the guy went on a tirade just trying to say, oh, I would love to go to uh, uh, this, this famous bar. I would love to do this. I would love to. I would love to. Uh... Yeah, expressed enthusiasm about the prospect of visit, visiting Cubbyhole, a storied New York lesbian bar. I genuinely do love you and your community, he said, according to a part. Uh, you're so human and beautiful. You make New York City special. I have no idea how we ever lose to the Republicans, given that you're all, frankly, in, like, leadership roles all over the Democratic Party. We have, like, this incredible secret weapon. It's not even secret. It's like we should win everything because we have you all. Like, don't say shit like this. Don't, like, don't say, don't say shit like that. Like, don't ever pander to a... That's like me telling a bunch of black people, it's amazing that, like, I'm not going to win because, like, you're black, I'm black, just vote for me. Duh. Like, you guys are great. Like, like what the fuck? 
this faux outrage. <laughs> this faux outrage. How many followers you got? Only on Twitter to follow political stuff. For police commissioner Yang is a foul Demings, a congressman, a foreign police chief. Okay, whatever, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so the point of this story is, as an Asian American, I'm proud that Andrew Yang is running for mayor of New York City and leading in the polls. I also understand how both mainstream and social media treats him like garbage. They've been doing this to us for generations, but just with a different set of tools. Okay, Eugene is one of the, like, leading people in how defending, like, the right of it, the correct information and debunking what Trump said. That's where most of this fame is generating from. He's a surgeon who just really had the, the top-of-the-line coronavirus response here. Real quick, Andrew Yang is not the greatest person on Earth. Just because he is Asian does not mean we cannot criticize him, especially when he does shit that's so cringeworthy and, like, Clearly, he's like, look, look, remember the whole bodega stint? He was like going on these bodegas. Oh, I buy a couple bananas. Oh, I buy a couple drinks. And look, I love the bodega. Like, that's not how you show people you a real New Yorker. Like, that's not how that works. And I don't understand how people think that there is some, like, nefarious agenda when he, it's the, I don't want to say it's the same thing as Trump, but like it's the same thing as people who literally give you the tools to say you're a piece of shit. And then they flip that and say, oh, I, I, I'm just being honest. This is just me. I, I don't know what you're talking about. You okay? He's leading in the polls because of the reason I had just stressed to you earlier. Everybody know him. Everybody like his UBI idea. What if he were to do that in New York City? He could raise people out of poverty. That, that amount of stuff. Like, just stop, homie. Just stop. Like, so somebody said, very rightly, hear me out. Maybe the problem with Andrew Yang is that he's a horrible candidate who has no elected public service experience and knows close to butt kiss about the city he wants to govern. I disagree. Maybe he lacks experience in New York government because he isn't elected because he lacks experience. The circular logic that corruption and experience breeds is a horrendous reason to vote for anyone. You might have a point if this wasn't the second office he's ever run for, the first being the fucking presidency. If you don't know, if you run for a political office and you bomb or like you get blown out, that really hurts your credibility in political circles. Like they don't want nobody who who fails. Like, you are not getting donors to donate to you if you're literally thinking about tanking your campaign or looking like a loser. If you run a strong campaign, that gives people more confidence in you. Okay, I'll back you in this next one because I think you got it here. If you lose just on, like, principle and you just didn't get... and not, Like, that's fine. Running a strong campaign is fine. This, however, is not a strong campaign. This, however, is weak shit. Weak sauce. Like, terrible. And Andrew Yang chooses to chooses to continue on. So now he's got people say, oh, well, you know, if it wasn't racist, it's racism. Why? Uh. It has nothing to do with his race. I don't like that take. That's a shit take. Like... Just because he's Asian American, we're dogging on him? You should see how people feel about Eric Adams. And if you don't know who Eric Adams is, he's the Brooklyn Borough president, or he was the Brooklyn Borough president. And he a cop. Hard cop. Like, level cop. Like, police state cop. You should see what we think about him. Is it because he's black? Or is it because he's a fucking police officer? Like, corny shit. Corny shit. 